Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Bilugina and you are watching daily stock market review by Tradimo. As you can see, S&P 500 index is consolidating. The initial enthusiasm of investors after the dovish commands of the Federal Reserve on Wednesday is now replaced by concerns about global economic growth. Weak data from German manufacturing sector contributed to the worries and um, we see that S&P 500 is um, trading below resistance. Resistance is actually provided by the highs of January 2018 in the area of um, 28.73 and we expect this resistance to hold in the upcoming sessions, thus limiting the upside in the US stocks. Uh, European stock indexes um, are suffering for a longer period of time. Here we can see that the consolidation started at the end of February and now the stocks 600 index futures is getting closer to support of 200 day moving average in the area of 368. Uh, if this support is breached, then further downside will follow, 364 level will be the target and, well, uh, the interim top will mean that the uptrend is potentially reversing here. Yesterday, when we talked about American stocks, we mentioned the story of Biogen, which uh, cancelled its um, product, an important uh, drug which was to cure Alzheimer's disease, but however, it turned out to be that uh, that is not possible with this drug. Uh, today we see that the stock continues decline and uh, the analysis can tell us that actually it looks that uh, the fundamental prospects are rather bleak for the company and um, it is not sensible to um, consider it as a long-term investment at this point at least until we trade below 250 level which acted as support for a considerable period of time and now will represent strong resistance. Returning to the chart of Boeing, which tried to recover earlier this week, but as we expected, the picture for the company is rather negative and uh, hence uh, the stock is getting near to the support lines of 100 day moving average around 364 and lower we see the 200 day moving average around 359. The latest news are that Indonesian airline cancelled 4.9 billion dollar orders for Boeing planes after uh, the company's planes had two crashes in less than five months. So uh, likely this consolidation range will be broken to the downside and we will see Boeing stocks fall to the lower levels yet. JP Morgan uh, keeps suffering. We can see that today uh, the stock is trading below the support line. And if we close here and uh, the stock doesn't close the gap, then further downside uh, levels are possible. Um, 99 mark as the nearest target. Amazon is also correcting down in line with the broad market, but um, even the medium term, the picture will remain positive as long as the stock is trading above the 200 day moving average uh, at 17.30 free area. Same correction is happening with Apple. As we have expected, the stock reached uh, levels just below 200 and uh, now a correction towards 190 is quite possible. The stocks of Nike made a big decline. Uh, the company's stock price suffered as um, 
the company reported earnings and it turned out that sales in North America disappointed the market. So for now, we are testing support uh, of the Fibonacci level and 50-day moving average. A deeper decline to the 80 area is possible. In the long term, however, the stock has a good potential because um, of the innovative new products and online growth the company is pursuing. So um, on the downside, look for the opportunities to buy the stock. And finally, the Levi Strauss company um, has conducted an IPO at uh, New York Stock Exchange this uh, week. And uh, we can see that um, during the first trading day, uh, there was an increase in price. But uh, of course, now trading is extremely volatile. So it is uh, for those who want to take some risk. In the longer term, the prospects of the company look quite well, although, of course, challenges created by the global uh, growth slowdown and the need for diversification still exist for the company. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention. And if you liked the video, subscribe to Tradimo YouTube channel.